Research in the pharmaceutical industry can lead to various products from life-saving drugs to soothing skin care products. Pinoy scientists are beginning to make a mark working on 3D printed skin that could help with burns and anti-cancer compounds. Farmer Galen X Innovations, Jan Vincent Solesta and Science and Technology Department Balik Scientist Doralyn Dalisay joins us now on The Final Word to tell us more. Thank you so much uh, for joining us on the program. Um, Mr. Solesta, let's start off with you. What are these skin care products made from cadios beans or pigeon peas that promises to reinvigorate skin and solve skin problems? Yeah, so uh, Sirico, we have a new product uh, coming out. It will be available in spray and gel form. As you said earlier, it's Skidios. It's derived its name from skin invigorating to Cadios. So it is inspired from a simple ingredient that has been nourishing the Ilongos for a long time. We all know it is just a good old Cadios seed from our heartwarming soup, KBL or Cadios Baboy Langka. So our research together with uh, the University of San Agustin headed by Dr. Dogalin Delisay and Dr. Janelle Saludes, both are DOST Balik scientists, shows that this seed has an excellent antibacterial properties against strains that are already resistant to antibiotics that causes mild to severe skin infections. So, so, so uh, tell us, what is this uh, 3D printed skin that hopes to be an alternative to burn dressing? Is this possible to mimic a functional skin out of a 3D um, printed material? Mm -hmm. So uh, this 3D bioprinted skin is actually another project. Uh, we also consulted with Dr. Doralyn Dalisay uh, about this. So the primary objective of this 3D bioprinted skin, it's actually a lab grown skin. And this is where our products that we develop we will have this platform so that we will test our products if it's irritant or non-irritant. Mm. We can also identify many pharmacological actions through this platform. So as you said earlier, um, if we're going to test it or you're going to use it for, uh, for burns, uh, I think that is uh, also a goal in the future. But up to now, the technology or this uh, research uh, project is only limited for testing of products that we are using. And because the conventional way of doing this is through animal testing. So we want to reduce animal testing by creating a lab-grown human skin. And uh, Mr. Lisa, you discovered uh, novel antifungal and anti-cancer compounds that were uh, uh, produced by rare marine invertebrates. What other endemic plants and marine species in the country have global protection? Uh, for medication? So in, in our lab, um, actually we are a very young drug um, center for natural drug discovery and development. And we are in our early phase of looking for anti-cancer from novel organisms that are present here in the Philippines. So yung tinatawag natin na, na bacteria sa buhangin. And what we, we do not want to wish to say that we already developed a novel compound or anti-cancer or anti-fungal compound, but we have novel bacteria that we can harness its various compounds that have potential anti-cancer or anti antibiotic activity and even um, um, antibiotic against viral <clears throat> infections so, such as SARS-CoV-2 infections. So, uh, Ms. Elisa, aside from uh, government funding for research and development for drug discovery in the country, what are the other crucial government interventions needed to help grow our local drug industry? So, that is a very good question. So number one, we need to capacitate our country with scientists, researchers, because local industries really need an expert. If we go back to the basic question during the time when Maridan or Dallin X uh, really needs the innovation, they do not have someone or an expert to go through. 
for example, in 2015, when they already wanted to do innovation in their products, there is no expert in the region. And also universities in, the, in Western Visayas do not have expertise in drug discovery. And so the answer there is always is, is none. And so the government has to capacitate more researchers, more scientists to help the local industries and to become more enterprising rather than doing research just for the sake of doing research for an academic um, uh, activity, but more doing research for economic development and research for enterprise. So that is one thing that the government should do. And another thing is that to invite more experts, Filipino experts from other countries to come home mm. and help our local industries and share their expertise in all areas of science and even social sciences, because that is one important thing that we could uh, impact in a positive way the societal and the economic uh, need of our country. And we do hope so th those are the two important things. And we do hope that this uh, groundbreaking research uh, will eventually become products available for all our Kababayans in the country. Thank you so much uh, to you both yes. for joining us Thank on you. the final word. Pharma, Galen X Innovations, Jan Vincent Solesta, and DOST Balik Scientist from the University of San Agustin, Iloilo, Doralyn Dalisay.